locked up in a very dark cell in a beautiful castle. She was held in the confinement of this cell and made to do the beating of her master, the Dark Lord and his assistants. Her name is Shalewa. The prisoner of the Dark Lord. He kept her for his amusement as he would bring disgusting and ugly looking combinations which made her eat against her will. Lies which she soon believed to be a reality. You are the slave and will always do my beating. You are useless and inadequate. There is nothing more to you. A slave, my prisoner. Ha, ha, ha. But how could a prisoner dance in chains? Night after night, he and his assistants tormented her, forcing her to do awful things to herself. No one is coming for you, Shaliwa. There is no escape from this place. One quiet evening, the Dark Lord and his assistants were out of sight. The castle was dead in silence. The door of her cell was left ajar. Till when she walked out of the dark room into the long hallway. Fear of the unknown plagued her mind. Every step she took with a feeling of uncertainty. But she was determined. Yes, she was determined to be free from him. Why she entered into this place, she wondered. Just a view of what the castle looked like, what it felt like, and then. Here she was, tiptoeing to her freedom. Shaliwa go to the door of the hallway. It led to the palace. Ah, oh, just the palace. And I will be free. Carefully, she opened the squeaking door. Ah! <sighs> Shaliwa breathed with a sign of relief. She looked around and smiled as the memories of her tortures played before her eyes. I am free! Headed towards the main entrance door and opened it. Behold, he was standing there. Really? No, and back to your room. This is your fate. Accept it. 
The Dark Lord called one of his assistants. Yes, Master. Our guest is too comfortable. Bound her up in chains at once. Of course, Master. Without any form of protest, Shaliwa took a walk back to her prison. It was an established fact. There was no escape for her. This was one of her many attempts to escape. But it seemed the Dark Lord was aware of her every move. He was always a step ahead of her. Nights after night, days became weeks, weeks became months, as Shaliwa wallowed away in her prison. She soon became a shadow of herself. She would cry and cry till she had no strength now. One cold night, Shaliwa had a knock on the door. Why would you not let me be? Let me be. Don't you rest. Let me be. Let me be. Shalewa. The voice called. It was soothing. And obviously not the voice of the Dark Lord. This voice was that of someone she had never met. The door opened and he walked in. The aura of peace around him was everything she ever desired. He shone with brilliance like the sun. There was really no vocabulary fit for Shaliwa to describe the man standing before her. Shaliwa, I have come to take you away from here. I have come to set you free. Shaliwa asks, Who are you? I am the prince from the celestial city. And our father desires to free. Shaliwa asks in confusion. Our father? Yes, father. He wants you free. I am a father. Yes, you do, Shaliwa. And he loves you so much. Shaliwa's eyes shone in surprise. If I am a father and you are a prince, does that not make me? Yes, you are a princess, but obviously not aware. You were blood bought, Shaliwa. The father's righteousness. She stared at him as a thousand thoughts crossed the mind. Was today really the day of her freedom? Was this prince really who he said he was? Had her days of bondage finally come to an end? Withdrawing her gaze from the prince, she objected. You are wrong. This is my faith. This is my reality. There is no escape for me. Shalewa, this is your hour of freedom. Why don't you believe in the possibilities set for you to be free? The prince persisted. Calling closer to her. Stop right there! <laughs> <laughs> Prince of whatever you call yourself, where are your guards? Are you telling me you are a one man and a prince? It's up to you, Shaliwa. You will remain in chains as long as you allow me. What do you mean? Shaliwa interrupted him. I didn't choose this. I am a bit from the Dark Lord. Who oh, put these chains on me? Don't blame me. I cannot get out. Jaliwa, you can. The wind change here are the lies you have been fed with for so long. They will remain your reality, Shaliwa, if you believe them. Look around you, Prince. This is a cell. A very dark cell. A prison. I am a slow slave. And was always do his bidding. Shaliwa argued further as she dropped her head in acceptance to her feet. The prince lifted her chin and asked, 
Is this what you want? Would you rather remain a slave than be free? You said I have a father, right? Yes, you do, Shaliwa. Shaliwa asks, smiling at the prince. And how much does he love you? Very much, Shaliwa. Shaliwa inquired further, smiling even more. So where has he been all this while? Shaliwa dropped the missile. Silence engulfed the room as the prince stared at Shaliwa. Our father is the king. He is lord of the celestial city. And according to the laws of the celestial city, to receive, one must ask. To open, one must knock. To find Shaliwa, one must seek. But at the same time, Father is full of mercy. Today, he has decided to bypass that room, just so you are free. The prince explained. I want to be free. The prince nodded in approval. Come on to me, all you that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest, Shaliwa, for my yoke is easy and my body is light. According to the laws of the land of the celestial city, you must come under a new government before you can be freed from another. Shaliwa stared at the prince in confusion. I will understand. It's simple, Shaliwa. You must renounce the Dark Lord and his authority over you. And you must do it in my name. Why in your name, Prince? Because Father has highly exalted my name. That at the mention of my name, every knee should bow. Now, do it, Shaliwa. Shaliwa delayed in her decision. She found it difficult to believe that her freedom was standing before her. Let's say, let's say I believe in the prince. What if I am scared, prince? What if it does not work? Will the dark world now destroy me totally? The Dark Lord groaned as he and his assistants stormed the room. Shalewa! Don't be good! I owe you! He turned to the prince. This is my captain, Pepper Prince. The Dark Lord warned. Remind me of the showdown between me and your master, the Young Looking on border, the prince replied. That is not the point. She strayed into my castle and therefore she belongs to me. And that's final. Who is he that says the thing when my father the Lord of hosts has not spoken. A slave to unrighteousness she was, but no more, for I have paid the price. Nice speech! <laughs> <laughs> Nice speech, Prince. Nothing changes. After all, Shalewa remains mine. Don't you? I do not belong to you. Shalewa, you? What did you just say? I said I do not belong to you. Repeat what you just said. 
Dark Lord wants her to be sure. Shaliwa really means what she said. I do not belong to you! I'll kill you! You belong to me! And no other but me! Shaliwa looked straight into his eyes. A slave to unrighteousness I have been. Doing your bidding, but not anymore. Shalewa, shut up, you mouth! For so long, you have failed me with your lies and your deceits, Dark Lord. Shalewa spoke with boldness. I renounce your dark words, your dark words, and all you represent, Dark Lord. The Dark Lord stared at Shalewa in surprise. No more of your bondage. I am now under a new government in the name The Dark Lord was about to pounce on her. My name is Jesus. Shaliwa now. In the name of Jesus. Immediately, there was stillness in the room. The prince was right. The Dark Lord could not move. A legion of fierce looking men dressed in shiny white armor, rushed into the room and surrounded Shaliwa, drawing their swords. The Dark Lord ordered his assistance, but he seemed to be intimidated by the fierce-looking men surrounding Shaliwa. Lose her and let her go this minute. The chains were taken off her. Springing to her feet, she rushed at the Dark Lord, launching two slaps at quick intervals. That is for all your life and peace you have cost me. All of you, on your knees. The prince commanded as the Dark Lord and his assistants obeyed without objection. Now you know who you are, Shalom. An end, a royal priesthood. No one should sell you any short of this. Putting off his garments, the prince placed it upon Shaliwa. Shaliwa rejoiced as she beamed with smiles. Thank you, my prince. The prince asked with a knowing smile. Shaliwa, are you satisfied? Not yet, my prince. Turning to the Dark Lord and his assistants, she took the whip from one of the assistants and whipped them all with reckless abandon. She continued till her hands ached. That's enough, Shadi. Looking around. One quick one, my prince. Who are these eyes looking men surrounding me? They are messengers of Father. They are sent to minister to the heirs of salvation. They are called angels. These ones are designed for situations like this. Hmm. The heirs of salvation. That includes me, right? Shalewa asks with joy in her eyes. Yes, Shaliwa, that includes you. He held her hands as the boat walked out of the dark room, accompanied by the host of angels, leaving the dark wall and his host sore with bruises. Are you held in the claws and shackles of sin? Has the devil turned your life into a laboratory experiment where he tests his weapons? Are you held in the yoke of addiction and you find yourself doing this that you do not want to do? You have tried several times to stop, 
but you just end up falling like before. And you are at a point where you believe it is your fate and who you are. Like Shaliwa in our story, there is hope for you. First John 3 is, He that commits sin is of the devil, but for this cause was the Son of Man manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Matthew 11:28. Come unto me, O ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. Acknowledge how helpless you are without God's help. Believe that the Father's love for you is real. Confess your sins to him. Ask God to fill you with the Spirit. Ask him to break the hold of sin and addictions over your life. If you want to accept the Lordship of our Lord Jesus, then say these words. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge the fact that I am a sinner. I am sorry for all my sins. I come to you this day and ask that you wash me of all my sins. Help me live for you every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Now you are saved. You must find a Bible-believing church where the Word of God is taught in a sound way. Whenever you feel guilty and condemned for your past, declare your new status in Jesus. Rebuke such thoughts because they are not from God. Study your Bible every day so you can understand God's promises for your life.